Hello dear financiers and accountants. Welcome to Practical IFRS YouTube channel. In this video we will be solving a question relating to impairment of financial instruments which is a fundamental concept under IFRS 9. The question says Elephant Company purchased a loan on the 1st of January in 2018 and it is classified as at amortized cost. The information given is as follows, so nominal value is $40 million of the bond, coupon rate is 7% per annum, years to maturity is 3 years, acquisition price is $37 million, and effective interest rate is around 10%. Also, also we are given the loss allowances as you see on the screen. At the beginning of 2018, loss allowance was $1 million, then at the end it was $1.5 million. In 2019, it was $1.2 million, and in the end of 2020, it was nil. The question asks us to show the double entry for each transaction for the each year till the maturity of the bond. Now let's solve the question together. So Elephant Co. has purchased a loan in the beginning of 2018 and it has been measured at uh, amortized cost. Here loss allowances have been included as well uh, and uh, we will treat them in accordance with uh, IFRS 9. First of all we need to construct an amortization table. The maturity of the loan is for three years amortized cost will be uh, calculated as usual so i think there is no need for you to explain how to do it anymore okay i'm just constructing the table carry forward is some of these three figures and let me fix the interest rate that's it again cash receipt is coupon here i'm just rolling it forward and in the end not only coupon is received but also nominal value is redeemed that's it now it is time to show the entries alongside loss allowances financial asset so it is a debit a cash credit oh sorry debit financial asset credit cash uh, loss allowance is uh, credit uh, credit 1 million debit PL because it is loss expense it is increased by debit side and then interest accrual of course to 3.71 million dollars and uh, that is interest income credit to PL interest received debit cash credit financial asset remeasurement of uh, loss allowance please pay attention to this carefully guys in the beginning of the year loss allowance was estimated to be one million dollars but as your question shows on the 31st of December 2018 loss allowance is 1.5 million dollars that means we need to increase the loss allowance by half million dollars okay and it is negative because we are increasing the loss allowance and debit PNL that means because increase of loss allowance means increase of expenses losses so the uh, brought forward amounts include both financial asset and the loss allowances and everything else is uh, the same so interest accrue uh, is uh, debit uh, 3.8 million dollars credit interest income 
it increases the value of financial asset uh, interest received again around three million dollars which represents coupon payments debt cash credit coupon payment the financial asset and in the end as a measurement of loss allowance as you see in 2019 in the end of the year it is 1.2 million dollars but our loss allowance account which is a balance account balance sheet account shows 1.5 million dollars that means we need to uh, reduce the loss allowance by 0 0.3 million dollars in order to arrive at 1.2 million dollars here okay so we reduce loss allowance uh, debit loss allowance and the credit pl so we reverse uh, the loss uh, by 0 0.3 million uh, dollars I think it should be clear to you again brought forward financial asset value and uh, loss allowance interest accrual for the final year 3.90 million dollars credit interest income interest received again it is 2.8 million dollars debit cash not only interest is received but also redemption so debit cash 40 million dollars and the credit uh, financial asset because it is time to, to, re to they recognize the financial asset to remove it from the statement of financial position and it is shown in the question that at the end of 2020 loss allowance is expected to be zero so we need to remeasure loss allowance in order to nullify the loss allowance we need to uh, add 1.2 million dollars here and the credit pl we are reversing again so as you see loss allowance is zero as shown in this part of the question and uh, financial asset has has been redeemed so its value amortized cost carry forward is zero as it is shown here i think it should be straightforward to you the the purpose of this question was just to treat loss allowances in accordance with ifrs 9 more complex questions will be practiced ahead